Greetings, church. It's nice to meet with you. I have a simple question for you. When you take communion, what do you see? And what I mean by that is, what's the story that you paint in your mind? Do you see a story that resembles solemn death, joyful life, maybe a little bit of both? Uh, for example, when you read a book, you have the awesome power of painting a picture as you go along in your mind. Uh, for example, you get to mold and create what you think the main character may look like, their personality, what the setting looks like, and get a feel for the tone of the story. Um, so in many ways, you have that power to paint the picture of the story as you go along. So what kind of painting are you creating with the communion story? What does it look like? What are you painting in your mind? When I was younger, the communion story painted in my mind was that of a deeply reverent funeral service. And once that picture was painted in my mind, that's where my mind would go automatically Sunday after Sunday. I didn't paint it anymore. It was just a copy that my mind would automatically default to. And over the years, it's changed a little bit. But as of lately, I've really been focusing on you know, and trying to paint a picture of communion in everyday life through the eyes of Jesus. And surely Jesus, during communion and every day, wants us to remember his life on earth, his ultimate defeat of death on the cross, as he gave up his physical body on earth. But more and more, I think our Savior wants us to focus on life. And we can find a few examples just within... Um, a few chapters in the Gospel of John where we can find Jesus' answers of life over death. So in John 12, 24, Jesus declares, death isn't an end, but instead it's the beginning of something more beautiful. As he says, truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. And Jesus also says in John 10, that he came to give abundant life. In John 12, that he came to save the world from darkness. And in John 14, Jesus states, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So ultimately, I think we could benefit by breaking out a clean canvas and painting a beautiful picture of life through the eyes of Jesus not just with communion, but in everyday life. So at this time, let's give thanks for the bread. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your gift of love through your son Jesus, for his life, his example. Uh, we're thankful that we have his words, Lord, that we can read, and that we can draw inspiration, strength from. We're so thankful for his body, his earthly body that he gave up so that we can have eternal life. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. And let us also give thanks for the fruit of the vine at this time. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, the blood that he shed, how that blood saves us from sin and death, how it cleanses us. And Lord, we just pray that every day we can focus on the power and the life that we have through Jesus and his sacrifice for us. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And finally, I'd just like to offer a prayer of thanksgiving for our many blessings. Lord, we thank you for the bounty of your blessings, for your love, just for how much you care for us, how patient you are with us. And Lord, in these times, we pray that we, we keep the needs and the concerns of the church as a priority, Lord, that we contribute and we support the church and its members however we can. And Lord, we just pray that you give us strength and boldness, that we can reach our neighbors, our community, and love. Let us find acts of service. Let us see what we can do to serve and do good. But most of all, Lord, we pray that we can just draw strength from you and that each day we can start with giving glory and honor to you, looking to you for strength.
help us to pray in a manner that will bring us closer to you, to be more like Jesus, so that we can be the hands and feet in Jesus on earth, and that we can reach this lost world and provide life, to provide light, to provide hope. In Jesus' name we pray.